Hello? I'm coming. Uh... I'm sorry, Marie. I didn't get much sleep last night. I had these awful dreams that I was being swamped by a gang of brain-hungry zombies and... No offence, but you were one of them and... and... My fingers in a sandwich. Yuck. Didn't see you there. <laughs> Hang on, let me just find a little bugger. What? Wait! Oh! Not bad for an old time, Ray. It's a wonderful little thing, this. Although most of the time it's sliding about like a bar of soap. Just don't use it in the shower then, eh? Hmm? You know, electrical equipment? Are you meeting a friend or a son or daughter, perhaps? What do you mean? What I mean is, do you know where you are, sir? This is a temping agency. Yeah, no shit. I'm your one o'clock, love. You're my... Uh, Don't worry about it. I'm old. I get it. What's your name, love? Heather Larson. And you must be... Don't tell me... Heather Eagleman. Elegant. <laughs> Suppose you could say that. Always hated it myself. Oh, yeah? I hate birds. Partly because they're ugly fuckers. And partly because I then have to live with the irony. Partly because they never stop shitting on my car, I get it. <laughs> what? Car? No, no, I don't, uh, I don't drive. <sighs> um, what can I do for you today, sir? You seem a bit... Too old for this shit. No, that's not what I was going to say. I like your belt. Is, is that an infinity sign or a number eight? Peritidis! Yes, of course. Pew, 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 pew. Look, Miss Larson. You don't need to feel uncomfortable around me. I'm a piece of ass like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking for work, like every other loser who comes through the door. My clients are not losers, Mr. Eagleman. There's nothing wrong with temping. You don't sound too convinced. For some, it's the first step into the job and career they've always wanted, and for others, it's the perfect stopgap between long-term employment and... All right, all right. But... I offended you, and I apologise. I'm not made of glass. Takes more than that to offend me, sir. Continue. Well, what's on the cards for you, Mr. Eagleman? Aren't you meant to tell me that? Do you have anything specific in mind? I mean, what did you do before you... Boy, do I look retired? This isn't a wind-up, you know, so stop joking around. I assure you, I'm taking this as seriously as I... Sperm donor. Excuse me? How was that for a career choice? Are you saying that you used to be... Don't be ridiculous. I had a wife draining me dry. And a business to run. No, that's what I want you to hook me up with. <laughs> no, no offence, sir, but don't you think you're a tad... What? Old? Don't play that card with me, love. I know exactly how old I am. Well, I have some forms that might help you decide and give us a better idea of your situation. Also states your date of birth in case you're one. Careful, Missy. It's coming down the grapevine that a spot of... Have you not listened to a word I've said? Yes, but come on, let's be serious. I'm as serious as non-Hodgkin's informer. That's rather serious, isn't it? It certainly is. Have I made myself clear? Not really. I mean, it hardly seems appropriate for you to be... Tugging one out for money? Hell yeah! I will do one right now if you don't think I'm really... Keep interested. it hold, please. I believe you. Trust me. Can I do one anyway? No, I... Please don't do that, Mr. Eagleman. Ask me nicely. Don't make me call someone in here. I will ne never live it down. I'll behave. Oh, come on.
Come on. What kind of sick, perverted thing are you doing now? I've got too thick. Well, try not to, okay? So, do you get many sob stories, you know, from the aforementioned losers? I guess. We had this one bloke who tried to follow his ex into the same job and ended up as her personal <laughs> assistant. <laughs> you see what I mean? I'm no stranger to this business, you know. Is that your sob story? Far from it. No, I'm happily married to a super sexy minx of a woman. Sounds wholesome. Oh, she's amazing. Still wanders around naked, and between you and me, she's got more suction than a Dyson. Okay, you have to stop now. Yeah. Sorry. Oh! Shit! It's gone! What's gone? My tooth! Your tooth? Are you sure? Are you gonna help me or what? I don't think my training covers this kind of thing. I never said I wasn't old. Well, you had bits falling off you. Jesus, I'm not putting you forward for kitchen staff, that's for sure. Sperm donor. Sperm donor. Sperm donor. Marie, 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 Marie. Please get this off my desk. God, you're highly strong today. This could have been so easy. I'll admit, if it hadn't been for my naturally mischievous and, if I may say so, charming personality... You just did. ...then I would have been a piece of cake. I mean, not literally, obviously. How so? I don't have a sad backstory to moan about, okay? Uh, me and the wife are very happily married. We don't have wayward kids, backstabbing friends, annoying neighbours. Uh, I'm as clean as they come, and I just wanted to have some fun. Just a bit of fun? Yes. Take your damn tooth and get out. Excuse me? You heard me, Mr. Eagleman. You've done nothing but waste my time. I think you're well aware that you don't need me to donate some, 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 some bodily fluids. If, if you want to go do that, then go do it. Thank you, you Miss Larson. What? I knew you had it in you. To what? To stand up to a babbling old fool like me. <laughs> it's not people like you that I need to be able to handle. No offence, sir, but I think you're an exception. True. Look, I'm not an idiot. Well, not yet, anyway. I know you can't temper as a sperm donor. Although, imagine how cool that would be. I just wanted to talk to someone about my plans before I came across like a complete... Per mental nutcase. I have a list prepared. <laughs> All right. Zip it. <laughs> Don't hate this job. Truly. Well, that's not what I was implying. Wasn't it? But it is true that you don't know what you're doing. Hey, it may only be my second week, but I know how to do my no, job. No, that's not what I meant. No. Why is everyone riding me about my damn job? <laughs> <laughs> no, you cannot ride me, Mr. Eagerman, for God's sake! Do me a favour. Call me Trevor, okay? Happy trails, Trevor. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> so are you. Hell, I could have told you that. 